For sure. <laughs> Even more smiles because I get to introduce our brand new meteorologist, Corey Smith. Yes, hello everybody. <laughs> hello. Corey. Where are you here from? So I'm coming from our sister station, WLTX, over in Columbia, South Carolina. So right. staying in the south here, but moving out towards Memphis here. I think I'm really going to like what's go going on here. It seems like an exciting city. Um, but me and Danielle have been talking a lot. We love weather here. But the one thing that I love weather almost as much is space stuff. I like baseball, too. I'm a Tampa Bay Rays fan. So okay. thankfully, I'm not a Cubs fan. I know a lot of, a lot of Cardinals fans around yeah. these parts. You but, don't want to alienate them right uh, there. Right. Yeah, but we, we, like we talked about, space a big thing. And a big thing happening here in the Mid-South tonight. So I think a great opportunity to kind of introduce myself, but also talk about something that I really love to explain to you guys. And that's going to be a meteor shower hmm. that we're going to see later on tonight. The Feminine meteor shower that is going to peak as we go into tonight. So you can see here behind me the greenish color to these meteors, and it's because it comes from actually an asteroid that's really far out in the solar system here. But creates one of the best meteor showers of the year. And that's going to come to culmination tonight. A couple things working in our favor. The moon is going to be close to the new moon phase. So that means a darker sky overall. We have drier weather and less cloud cover than we could typically have this time of the year. So looking like we could see a couple dozen meteors per hour here in the city. The meteor shower itself is around 120 meteors, but of course, we can't see that with some of that haze and light pollution. And speaking of light pollution here across the Mid-South, something we have to deal with. You can see some communities out towards Forest City and Wynn, a little bit on the darker side. So if you want to head out of the Memphis Metro, definitely good there. Out towards Shelby Forest State Park as well would be a darker spot. And portions of northern Mississippi, I think a little bit easier to get out to an area that is a little bit easier to see in the night sky. But the thing about tonight, Weather looking pretty good. Mostly clear skies. Temperatures won't be too bad for this time of the year. We're talking middle to upper 40s as you go throughout the night. And notice the timing here because that's what we're going to have to deal with is some of those late night uh, conditions here. Really the best time to view this is from 10 p.m. and later tonight. And it's going to continue as you go into tomorrow night as well. So the best rates or at least the highest amounts of meteors per hour is tonight. But we could see some more tomorrow night as well. So if you can't get out as you go throughout your Wednesday night. I think things looking pretty good tomorrow as well. And of course, we're going to keep you guys updated as we see more of these night sky activities going on. Very good. All right. Thank you.